The Evo X is a three-way horn-loaded point source loudspeaker with wide horizontal dispersion, which makes it really useful for a lot of different applications. For example, single cabinet per side for a small live venue. For some types of music or for voice, you could use it all on its own. And also really great for a small club in a four-point system. It can get really high SPO and impact from quite a small box. I think it's incredibly refined, natural sound. From a design point of view, it's the first time we've managed to get the dispersion on the 8-inch waveguide, which does a majority of the mid-range, to spread as, as far as 90 degrees. That was new territory for us. We've been trying to do that for a long time. The 8-inch in the Evo X is really special because it's probably our most advanced mid-range driver that we've made so far. It's 107 dB at 1 watt, 1 meter. It plays from 280 to beyond 5 kilohertz. The isophase diffraction waveguide is really cool. It's something we developed for the VX. It had a very specific job for the VX, which is to produce the right vertical dispersion and high frequency wavefront curvature. But aside from that, it has very wide horizontal dispersion. And when you look at the directivity response, it's almost a perfect device. It's a universal box. You know, we're doing a 300 person theater with it and it's not even stressed. It's all natural. There's no onboard EQ at all. We had an opportunity to demo them for a very underground techno club in London. They'd heard about the Evo X's and they were a club that really wants to sort of push the sound forward. And so we took four down there and installed them as a kind of demo over a period of time just so they could get comfortable with them. And um, it's been a great success and they're permanently installed there in the main room. And they're perfect because of the dispersion characteristic and the power and the sound quality. I did a gig with Niall Rogers on a pair of Evo X in Abbey Road Studios. One aside, about nine metres apart in about a nine metre square audience area. Loads of headroom, massive stereo image, big party. The accessories for the Evo X, you can have it fitted with a grill. So for a discreet appearance, it's foam backed. You have a wheelboard for touring and for transportation. They're stackable, they're really rugged pieces of kit. You have a yoke kit, so screwing brackets on the side and then a yoke for mounting from above for installations and then ground stack kit which includes a ground stack board and some ground stack metalwork which we use on our other products. Just by having the speaker just above head height so it skims across the listening area, catches people from the front right to the back, you're only putting sound into the listening area. The stereo image that it's capable of, it really is so strong We've always used horns and they typically can put 6 to 10 dB extra level but simply because they facilitate a better connection between the moving diaphragm and the air. Therefore, it gets more of an impression and that's what raises the efficiency. The best thing I like about the system is when we're doing live performance because the system really loves it. It's just a joy to mix on. EvoRx for us is something of venues this size. You know, we seat 200 seats, uh, a Weybridge theatre, our other theatre seats 320. This is the kind of sound system that is ideal for us. It caters for everything from schools to DJs to comedians, from spoken word to live music. It has that versatility as a product and clarity. So I've never heard a system that you can hear every single instrument in the band. It's almost disarmingly natural in that when you hear good source material, i.e. a good track or a good mix of a band, the reality of what you hear, what you hear is, is quite alarming, especially if you're you know, near the middle of the image and you get that vocal just pop right out of the mix. There's no sort of coloration or distortion or anything in there at all. It's just a real person just there. I wanted to have the real world sound in my studio. I want to sit back in the chair and go, right, what does it sound like? And believe me, that's your real world sound. So I know that when I go out, and that, that is going to sound like that. It's definitely the Rolls Royce of any sound in any studio that we have. And I don't and I cannot see any other studio in the world that has this sound. It's probably one of the best sounding rooms I've ever been in. I'm really pleased with it. It feels like a really good place to have got to after all these years.